All right, guys, so uh, now we have everything in front of us. I have already got the operating system, which is copied on my uh, portable USB. I've downloaded the files from uh, gpt.hk. I've actually followed two different uh, videos, and the one which is from the Fox, that tells you basically how to download everything, uh, you know, how to copy the drivers from your uh, from your GPT-1.2, and using double driver, basically you can, it, it gives you the software you have to install on your uh, GPT-1.2, which gives you the option to uh, duplicate basically everything, all the drivers, all the unique drivers, which are not included in the, you know, uh, normal regular version of windows it gives you the option to copy all of them back up them and then you can restore them on the usb so you can so once you start the installation you have all the drivers uh, ready to go on the new ssd i took some tips from that and then i followed uh, another video from fusang cookie in, and in that video fusang tells you to uh, go to the link which is the official one from gpd it's gpd.hk and just download the files from there and that's what i did so i've already got the operating system here without any further ado let me just move this one out of the frame for now or in fact let's just start with this so the first thing i have to do is to open up and remove let's first take this one out okay here we go it, it comes uh, this one already comes with a, a screw in case you know you need it but I've already got the original screw here so I don't need that so I'll just take out the SSD okay let me just put it on the side here all right so here we go I'll put this one here let me just <coughs> take out the screws and I believe I'm going to be using a, a star shaped so I'll be using a Phillips head okay all right here we go All right, so I'm back. Uh, there was a slight disruption, and I just want to let you guys know, this is a tip here. Make sure when you're using, when you're trying to open this, make sure you have the proper tool. I was using this cheap-ass screwdriver set, and this did not do the job. So I had to get another one, which is right here, this one. So, because the screw is very small, and you do not definitely don't want to, you know, mess around with it and do something that will scrape the the grooves or anything so let's open it up okay and we have it open now okay I believe I've got it already all right so the screw is out and the cover is open and here it is so this is the the SSD and I believe all you have to do now is to just remove it pull it out one basic difference between the retail model and the prototype version the prototype did not had a spring mechanism as you can see here this one there is like a spring mechanism it is similar to what we see in in you know in normal uh, uh, pcs when we are uh, trying to install ram or something you have to put it in an angle and then just push it down that's how it works so let me just take it out that's it so this is the official one, the 128. It's by, the name of the company is by Win. Hmm, that's interesting. I believe they changed. Uh, they were using uh, Samsung, I believe, before. In some videos, I've seen people taking out, taking out the Samsung SSD 128. So this is the one. And this is the other one that I have right now. So they're identical. Okay, so here we go. So it goes in like this. That's it. And we have to just, yeah, it's in. Okay. This goes down and we just have to put the screw back in. Okay. This is a very simple process, guys. There's nothing, you know, difficult about this one. 
you just have to have a screwdriver and you know just be, just go very easy and since it's uh, plastic you don't have to apply a lot of pressure on it just make sure that you have tightened it all the way so it's not loose or anything and we are good to go so this covers the first part of the video i'll change the camera angle so you guys can see better you know the screen i'll be focusing on the screen now all we have to do is plug in the usb start restart the system go to the bios make the changes over there and it should pretty much start the installation process all right so uh, now what we are going to do i've already as i mentioned i've got the operating system already here so i'm going to be plugging this one in okay and then we have to now just press on boot and and hold on to dell delete key so it boots into the uh, the bios let's do this right now okay i'm holding <clears throat> i am holding the the key and we are here okay so that's the first thing now okay so we have to go to chipset and then PCIO configuration and then we go to SATA and RST configuration okay and then we have to go up And here we have it. The SATA port 1 is showing the King Shu Sheng 512 gigs. So it's supported and it's showing right now. I can see that. Okay, so now I have to press escape. I'm following the video word to word, guys. The one I saw from Fox, which is very helpful, by the way. He's an excellent guy. So I have to press escape. And then I have to come back to the boot menu right here. And then I have to go to, I believe, the boot priority. And it's saying boot option one, which is SanDisk partition one. That's my my driver over here. So let me just select this one and press enter. It's asking me to confirm boot option number one, which is partition one. And I say yes. Okay. And now we have to, I believe, escape again from here. Okay, and here we go. So now it should boot into the Windows, uh, the USB. Let's see. Hopefully it's gonna happen now. And we are witnessing the start now. There you go. You can see it's starting. This is the interface that you'll be getting if you have downloaded the, uh, the files from the GPD dot hk that's how the files are going to be it's going to run some you know it's open opening the the dos shell and then it will start zero percent completed so it's i'm going to leave it for now i'll just put it right here and i'll leave it for now so uh, until it's finished just make sure you're having sufficient power for your GPD. And uh, if, you ha if you don't have, just plug it in. Make sure that it is plugged in so nothing is disrupting the, the install process. And I'll be back with you guys as soon as this, go this is completed. rebooting right now and uh, it seems like the installation went well it just it didn't take much time i believe it took like 15 minutes so we're now doing the first boot and this should be now in the windows one difference that i would say between the uh the fox tutorial and the fusang tutorial one main difference is that uh, fox used i believe an oem version of windows 
and uh, which did not include the, the drivers which are specific for the GPT Win 2. While the, the one, you know, which is from Fusang, it referred us to the GPD.HK. I'm not sure why Fox decided to go with the OEM version and not with the, you know, with the specific version for, for GPD. Maybe at that time when he made the video, because he was using his prototype, I'm not sure it, at that time the files were already up on the GPD website at that time. It could have been possible he didn't have those files at that time. But anyway, this image that I downloaded from GPD.HK, it's almost 9.5 9 gigabyte. So that's a big image. One thing that is different from Fuseng's video, he mentioned that you need 128 uh, gigs USB. You absolutely don't need that. Uh, just uh, you know, any USB which is large enough to hold the image. So since it's, it was nine gigs, I decided to go. So 32 gigabyte USB and uh, the install is, I believe, going well. It has completed already. So let's see now if it boots back. I can already see the fan is revving up and I'm not sure you know people have been talking about how how warm it gets and how hot it is let's see but so far what i can tell you this brand it has worked it is detected and uh, there is there is another youtuber called tech og um he used i believe a i'm not sure which brand that he used he a dogfish i believe he he bought a dogfish and he said that it didn't got detected somehow i'm not sure if you went to the bios and tried to do what what we what i did because first time when you plug in any internal hardware you have to go to the bios to make sure it is uh, recognized by the system so maybe he forgot that step or he didn't follow that step uh, because right now what i can tell you this brand works so it's just doing its thing right now i believe it's going to be restarting a couple of times that's how windows goes and this was the original one I do not plan to empty it in any way or use it for something else. This will be my backup now because I already, al although I copied all my data from here, so I don't need this one right now, but I'll just keep it safe, you know, in case I run into some sort of a problem, at least I have the original one to go back to. And here we go. We're back in Windows. Okay, so I, th I think so. I'm just going to stop the video for now and just apply my settings. And uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. All right, so we're back. So uh, so the installation went extremely well. No problems, no hiccups, no nothing. And as you can see, the touch screen works. Everything is okay. And that's the best part of you know doing the installation based on the files GPD is already you know having in their image, because it's a complete image. You don't have to do worry about any of the drivers not functioning or anything. So uh, once you boot up, you're back, and everything is okay nothing wrong everything is fine windows is working let me just go here and show you as you can see i have i'm not sure if you guys can see from there <laughs> let me just remove the power cable and if i come here let me just try and focus on this or maybe from here okay anyway i'm having 458 gigabyte free that's the amount of uh, memory that is available for me once I upgrade to the 512. So this is it guys. This was my uh, video. This brand, I endorse it, which is King Chu Sheng. Anyway, so let me know if you guys are having any comments, any questions regarding this one. And by the way, the most important thing regarding the temperatures, I can say it's a little warm, you know, but nothing as bad as people were saying. I mean, I've just done the installation and it took a, it took a long time and it also searched for updates. It, uh, you know, it connected to the internet, downloaded some updates and everything has happened. The fan revved up. Yes, it did. But now it's back to normal and I cannot see any difference between the first one and this one. So two thumbs up for this product and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.